SRT's Fiber to the Home project provides people all throughout our serving area with updated technology and communication services. As with any major construction project, multiple steps take place in the process. We've broken the steps into phases to explain these processes, all with the goal of bringing you the best service around. Phase one starts by getting easements from land and homeowners. Our right-of-way agents secure permission from families in order to bring the fiber optic service directly to your home. They visit with you about what services you may want, explain the construction process, and take photos of where the SRT equipment and buried fiber optic cables will go on your property. Phase two is construction. Construction includes plowing fiber optic cable in the ground all across our territory and boring that cable underground right up to the side of your home in order to connect your services. Phase three is the splicing phase, which means that our splicer technicians connect every piece of fiber along our buried fiber routes. They work off mapping records that shows them where our construction crew plowed the fiber. Then the splicers connect thousands of pieces of fiber, which are actually strands of glass, by fusing it all together. From the main central office headquarters to smaller offices throughout our territory to the box outside your home, it all needs to be connected. Phase four takes place in our offices as different departments prepare for the services to become activated at a home. Typically, a community or neighborhood is done all at once so that multiple homes in a common area can be connected. Records must be updated and equipment gets assigned to every home. These records allow us to automate services for customers and are critical to the process. Our customer service group gets involved at phase five, which is when they call a customer to schedule the install. The customer service rep will walk you through the available options with fiber, including upgrading or adding new services, such as faster internet speeds. They may also talk to you about how you use the service and make recommendations. A few days later, phase six happens with our combination technicians coming to your home to install the services. The technicians first connect the services in our small office close to your neighborhood, using records that have been updated to know which connections need to be made. Then they arrive at the house where they begin to pull the fiber cable from the ground up to the box that is typically located on the side of your home. For those of you who had service previously, they remove the old box from the home and disconnect the services, and then connect the new fiber. They then call our network operations center to activate the services. Again, the records that were updated are now ready to be provisioned which is another way of saying they're starting the programming that makes the service work. Programming includes making sure the service at the customer's address is tied all the way back to our headquarters office and can connect properly. Additionally, internet customers are programmed to whichever speed they choose. Once the programming and records are updated and successfully working, the technician uses his phone to connect the modem inside the home. They then test the modem to ensure it's working, check the Wi-Fi signals, clean up anything in the home, and now they're done. Your home is connected to fiber optic services through SRT. This process can take one to three years depending on construction season and weather, but it's all in an effort to provide the best services from SRT.